Welcome to Vindao's Academy and it's very wonderful and joy coming back again to talk about the physics practical YX 2024 and this is part two and I want to focus mainly on how to manipulate this table of values and this is based on the experience I had while trying to perform this experiment and I was also going to admit that there was a mistake I made in performing this experiment because I wanted where the cameraman would position so I'm supposed to stay here if I stay here in this place this is my left hand side where the side should fix my resistor but because I needed my cameraman to stay this way and video me I mistakenly stood at this part then it made the experiment to have a little problem and that is what I have come for us to fix so please i am sorry for any inconvenience that video must have cost you but let's go in this manipulation i'm going to tell you but if you want to see where the correct experiment was performed by me you go to exam guide go to exam guide type in your phone exam guide it was after performing the experiment with exam guide um exam guide group of companies that was where i found out that there was a mistake in my readings because i started having different kinds of reading all right <clears throat> without wasting much of our time let's go with this now if you look at the table of value you see that this rx is one ohm this is one ohm right now on this one ohm we have l sub x and we have l sub p in the other part of the experiment so this is going to be point b and this is point c so this is where we are going to be changing the length 100 we go to 90 we go to 80 we go to 70 and for that reason because the resistance is reducing i mean the length of the wire which is also a resistance is reducing the value of lp must reduce because we know that resistance is directly proportional to length so this value cannot increase while this lp decreases they must be in the same direct proportion the same thing happens here and if this value is decreasing you don't need to think again and this value must surely increase but the problem is when you're manipulating you need to find your balance point because that balance point is this value these values are where your balance point will be but this problem you need to at least connect your circuit get your balance point before you start whatever i want to do right now but since i have performed the experiment i know that my first balance point was 1.00 that was what i had that was my first balance point and if one is my balance point this value is going to remember this value is 100 minus lx and this is going to be lp 100 minus one i'm going to have 99.00 that was what my reading got and when i recorded here i'm going to have lp this divide this i'm going to have 99.00 because if i multiply it by one i'm going to still have 99 so that's the first one now remember 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 this has to increase so the 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 first one was one the next one i'm going to have is 1.50 so this is going to be 98.5 so i'm going to have 98.50 so 98.5 divided by 1.5 98.5 divided by 1.5 so i have 65 i'm having 65.67 right so and i am suspecting that this one should be at two don't increase them too far so at 2, if that is at 2, this is going to be at 98.00 and 98 divided by 2 is going to be 49.00. 
And the next thing you are going to do is you are going to suspect to have 2.5, but let me just say 3.00, you know, because it's practical. Everything cannot just be perfectly done. So you can, provided these values are increasing, you are cool to go. And these values are reducing, you are cool to go. And this value is reducing because this value and this value must reduce and as well as this value. But this is only the value that is permitted to increase. If this is the question work is going to be, remember, all we are doing here is to predict. We have not seen the question. So the next one here is going to be 98, 100 minus 3 is going to be 97.00. And this is going to be 97 divided by 3. I'm going to have 32.33. All right. So this is the table of value I have. So I am going to, if you use this to plot a graph, you will definitely have a straight line graph. And that straight line graph, that graph will be, and this is going to be R2. Remember R2, what I have done is for R1. So, but the, another issue is this, when you are doing your R2, you must at least perform the first experiment to, to know your balance point because remember my balance point here is one the kind of wire you are putting here maybe some people may use a silver wire some people may use a copper wire some people may use constant time the kind of wire you put here is what is going to determine your first balance point there is a way you put there there is a kind of wire you put there maybe your balance point may be let's say 20 so and that is what is going to judge whatever you're going to have here once you are having this, you can also manipulate the rest of the table. And plot your graph. Your graph must surely have a straight line graph because this is going to be R2 plotted against R1. You have a straight line graph. Maybe you can cut this way at this point. Or sometimes if it is a perfect one. So if it is a perfect one, you may cut through the origin. Thank you very much for your support, for your kind words, and I wish you luck.